everyone welcome to prayer and devotion um if this is your first time here my name is hillary gooding i am a pastoral intern at the united methodist church of new brunswick welcome thank you for joining us and happy friday all right so today's devotional is titled don't be right be jesus and the scripture is Isaiah chapter 29 verse 13 which says these people come near to me with their mouth and honor me with their lips but their hearts are far from me their worship of me is based on merely human rules they have been taught and then the devotional goes on to say we all know what it's like to watch board game night with friends devolve into civil war the beginning is always promising. Someone brings up Pictionary or charades and you split into teams, ready to laugh. Then all it takes is a turn when someone with a competitive streak takes charge. Maybe they were cut from their middle school basketball team or have an ax to grind because they lost a board game when they were five. Whatever it is, the competitiveness fills the air in the room like a thick fog. Rules emerge that no one knew about. Even the rules have rules. It's no fun anymore. It quickly becomes obvious to everyone that being right isn't as important as being together. What happened? It's simple. The purpose of game night is to enjoy one another, not to win. If someone takes it too seriously, they ruin it for everyone. Life works the same way. We can't be so consumed with being right that we miss the opportunity to just be together. Humble people stay quiet when speaking up might cost them a friend. They know life isn't a competition. There's no winner or loser in God's family because everyone has access to infinite love and grace. There are no more chips we can collect or play money to hoard. Don't trade a dozen great relationships for a few unverified rules. Here's a pro tip. Don't be right, be Jesus. Be the one who brings people together and is self-aware enough to know that the purpose of our lives is to lift everyone up, not put people down. 
Okay, good morning, good morning, everyone. If you're just joining us, the devotional today is about um, Don't Be Right, Be Jesus. And uh, the devotional goes on to talk about how um, game night can get very, very serious. And if you've ever been a part of game night, then you know um, whatever those games may be for you, um, whether it's Uno, um, I know Monopoly can be a big one that gets very, very heated. Um, if you play stakes and ladders or shoots and ladders, um, uh, checkers, chess, whatever, whatever the game is that you play, um, they can get very, very serious when people are very consumed with, I have to be right and I have to be the winner. And suddenly, like the devotional said, suddenly there are rules that never existed before. Like you can't put a, a draw two on a draw four. Um, you know, things like that. Um, and it, it seeps out of the game into real life relationships, into real life, um, connection. And the reason that you had game night was so that, <clears throat> was so that you could all be together and so that you could all connect. So it, it wasn't about no one's leaving with anything at the end of the day. Like no one's leaving with a, a grand prize if you win, no one's leaving with, um, anything but a deeper connection to each other um, from the game night. And in that same way, I think that there needs to be times when we realize that it, it's okay for you to be right if, you know, we're going to keep our relationship and we're going to keep our, our friendship. Um, you know, it's okay to take a step back sometimes and just realize that there is no point to argue and there is no point to to get overly competitive or overly serious. And, you know, when you spend so much time proving your point and proving that you're right, what are you really winning in the end? What are you winning when you're proving that, you know, you're right about this and this is the way it needs to be done, but you're isolating everyone around you to, to prove this point? And you're, you're um, making yourself miserable to prove a point. Um, so I, I definitely agree with the, the devotional and saying it's not about being right. It's not about being the person who proves their point all the time and is always right. That, that's not what life is about. Um, and that's not what Jesus was about, you know. Um, he did not walk around like, uh, th this is wrong, don't do that. This is wrong, don't do that. Imagine someone walking around like that. Um, no, but he showed a lot of grace and he showed a lot of love. And I can imagine that, you know, there, there were times where maybe he could have said more to people when he was sitting with the, with the um, debt collectors and um, people of that nature. I'm sure there was, he could have said more, but... I think that he understood that connection was more important and then he would be able to reach them um, easier after they have that connection. So um, I would encourage everyone to, you know, take the time to connect with people and to not worry about being right. It's not worry about pointing out every little thing that might be wrong, but just taking a second to just connect and to be there for people and to, um, to be more like Jesus and less right and more like Jesus. Um, so the devotional says, what, what would change if you cared more about being loving than being right? So what, what, what would change? Would it be a relationship that you have um, that might be a bit strained? Would it be the way that you do something? Would it be the way you carry yourself at work? Um, what would it be that would change if you were more worried about being a loving person than being a right person, a um, person who's right all the time? So um, I leave you all with that. Hopefully that was um, helpful. Uh, thank you all for joining. So let's just uh, take some time to get into a word of prayer. Father God, thank you so much for waking us all up today. Thank you so much for every single person who is listening right now, God. Thank you for bringing us together and allowing us to meet, even if not in person, 
Um, but you're so wonderful, God. You found a way for us to meet virtually. Um, and so we're grateful for that. And uh, we love you, God. Um, thank you for the times in our lives where we have chosen to be the person who is loving and be the person who is more Jesus-like instead of the person who is right. And also thank you for the times where we weren't that person, where we were the person who decided to be right because I'm sure that we learned something from that. But God, as we move forward, help us to be those loving people, help us to be um, more uh, consumed and um, more focused on being loving and more Jesus-like than anything else, God. Uh, God, help us to be wise, help us to be loving, help us to be kind, um, and just walk with us, you know, sometimes we're going to get it right, and sometimes we're going to get it wrong, but it's amazing to know that we don't have to be perfect people, because we have a perfect God walking with us, um, and showing us the way, and where to go, and what to do, God, so help us to be sensitive to your voice, um, and where you're taking us, and where you're calling us to, um, and uh, help us to be kind to one another, God, and to be there for one another, God. Um, help us to constantly be that light to other people so that, you know, when they see us, that they see you and they uh, want to know more of you and learn more about you, God. Um, so thank you for bringing us through this week. Um, I'm just praying for a happy and healthy, um, rest-filled weekend for everyone, God. Um, and just give everyone some time to uh, step away from the things that have been worrying them and troubling them and just give them a moment and of peace and of rest, God. And let's just end with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. All right. Um, happy Friday, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Um, be sure to tune in to church on Sunday. Um, and if you haven't already, make a video for your Easter greeting and send it in. Um, thank you all so much for coming on and I will see you next Friday.